channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. I'm Lissa, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my monthly favorites, which this month is November. Uh, so close to the end of the year, I can't believe we're literally ending 2018, and I feel like we just started. But um, today, there's not a lot of beauty products. I have like two makeup related ones, and the rest are just like some are skincare and then they're just like other random ones but yeah I, if you guys want to see what I've been loving this month then just keep on watching so I'm kind of getting sick and um I've been loving this drink this isn't a November <laughs> favorite but I really like this um drink by Starbucks it's um medicine ball and I've been the last time I got sick in September, my sister told me about this drink, and it's seriously amazing. So, not a November favorite, but it's a today's favorite. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start off with something really, really random. Um, but if you guys saw my um, what I eat in a day, I show you guys that I do take Herbalife, and... I've been experimenting with some new products and this one I really like. I suffer from a lot of bloating after I eat or like around my period and stuff like that. Or just even in the cold. So I live in Chicago and it's like super cold here all the time. And just any coldness that touches my stomach will just make me like puff up. And I got this active fiber. Uh, it's powder but you drink it in like... It's like tea, and it smells like apple pie, but it helps with your bloating and it boosts your metabolism because it has fiber, but um, you could put this in like your smoothies. I just drink it in a water bottle or like in a cup of water, and um, it's just one scoop of it, and then you're good. This literally smells like apple pie. It smells so good, but I have really been loving this because I was trying to figure out something to either boost my metabolism or help me after I eat and I do drink a tea after my meals but those just like help me burn calories this really helps me with my bloating and I've noticed such a big difference like I felt like I was big but I wasn't big it was just air in my stomach it was just the bloating the bloatiness and this has really helped calm it down and bring it down so like I feel like I'm thinner <laughs> And so who doesn't like that? So I think this retails for like $20, I think. I don't know. I'll leave a link down below. But this has been a favorite this month for sure. Okay, so something else that's not really that, that's like kind of random. Um, it's this Nug Beauty <coughs> Lip Scrub and Lip Mask. I've had this for a year now. I got it last year around this time. And well... This time everything is just so dry and my lips are so dry all the time and I just have a bad habit of peeling them and that's not good because then they start bleeding and they're just bad. So um, I got these and I saw them on MUA Ashley, the one who does a lot of the lip um, stick swatches. She used this and this is the scrub. It, I've had this for a year. And I still have some. It's lasted me so much. You only need a little bit. And then this is the mask. And don't mind my nails. <laughs> I feel like I'm so bad with my nails. Um, my nail tech is booked all of December. And I got these done November 5th first I think or like at the beginning of this month so she's probably gonna hate me when she sees my nails I'm trying to soak them off <laughs> before I go see her but um yeah anyway these have been a really really good um product for the winter time I actually went to go get a facial like two weeks ago or like last week and she's like I'm gonna give you a complimentary lip mask because your lips are very dry I was like harsh <laughs> but I if you have dry lips I really recommend this set I got this I don't remember for how much I purchased it but I did get kind of like a good deal slash like discount because 
um, it was like a holiday set so normally I think separately they're like ten dollars each but I had gotten for both of them I think I paid like 14 or 15 but I'm not I don't really quite remember um, I'm sure they'll do it again this year but I got both of these in one so that's that moving on to hair um I used to I like very rarely curl my hair but when I do I use it like I have this one which is very skinny and thin and I normally do like a wand like I'll just wrap it around but that's because I haven't had like a good um actual curling iron like the bar ones <laughs> I haven't had like a good sturdy thick um curling iron and I really like this one because this one is like janky it's like loose I don't know why they're just like that the Mar the Marcells and then this one it's so easy I forget how I did it um to just curl it and well it's not on <laughs> but I feel like ugh, sometimes I hate having to just be like there like this waiting and waiting so I like to just be able to do this and just hold it or whatever so this one is actually from Revlon and I, pre I believe this is one inch or inch and a half I'm not quite sure, but i really been liking this to curl my hair. If you see any of my pictures on Instagram with curly hair, it was done with this. So, i really been liking this. And I'm in the process of growing out my hair. So, I feel like when I do it with this one, my hair just starts looking shorter. And with this one, it gives it a good volume and like a nice length to it. It doesn't, make, it doesn't shorten it. Because, like, every time you curl your hair, you know it always looks shorter. But this one, I feel like it keeps my length and it doesn't make it look any shorter than it is. And it adds a good volume. Even though I don't need volume in my hair because my hair is naturally huge. But really been loving this one. And it's, like, super cheap. You can get it, like, at Walmart. Or... Pretty sure you get it at Ulta, but I'm sure you can get it at Walmart. Another hair favorite this month has been this Amika Untouchable Hairspray. This stuff smells amazing. Ugh, it smells so good. It smells so clean, so refreshing. So, I actually like Amika's hair products. They're, like, amazing. They're affordable. You get a lot. The packaging is super cute. I have their um, dry conditioner, too. I mean, this is so cute. I love this packaging. Um, and their dry shampoo is amazing. And their texture spray or something like that it's called. I don't remember what it's called but I love Amika and this hairspray I used to use just any random hairspray that I would get but I tried this one now because I love their other products and it doesn't leave my hair dry or like stiff it doesn't flake it and I can go over it and you know I don't know if you ladies have ever flat iron your hair or curl your hair and then put hairspray and then if you ever try to go over it again um you at least product in your in your flat iron or your curling iron this one doesn't so for example if i curl my hair today and i put hairspray and then tomorrow i want to go over my curls and it has hairspray in there it's not gonna leave any of that residue product on my hot irons And that is like amazing because I like to retouch them like the next day and stuff. So this hair and I'm actually almost out of it. This is 8.2 ounces and I think it was like $20. So I get this at the um, licensed beauty salon stores. But I think Sephora carries it and you can just buy it off their, um, their website. But I really, really been liking this hairspray. Whether it be to slick my baby hairs or when I curl my hair. It's a um, good hold, doesn't leave it like crunchy feeling and it doesn't like flake it off either and it smells amazing. It's, your hair smells clean. So I really really like this. Next product. So now we're moving on to skincare 
And <clears throat> my last video in my October favorites, I told you guys how I had just picked up this um, toner by Neutrogena. And I was going to let you guys know on how I liked it. Well, it made it on to November's favorites. Yay! <laughs> So, it made it to my November favorites because I had a lot of texture, if I told you guys, like around this side of my face. And it cleared it up, like, in two days. It was, like, gone. My whole texture. And it was, like, really bad. My texture, it, it came random. I, like, hardly ever get texture. And then one day I was putting my makeup on and I noticed how bad it looked. And it wasn't, like, acne. And I was, like, where is this texture coming from? So... I was telling my coworker, and she's like that she's heard really good things about this and I got it in high school and I never knew why I never repurchased it but it really helped me with my um my texture this month so I've really been using this as you can tell I'm like halfway done already but it's been really good I've really been liking this I haven't used it so much because it's a little drying because of the salicylic acid um and it's like winter now so it's really dry out so everything is dry right now um so i'll use it like a little bit at night and then put like a lot of like heavy moisturizer so it could like soak in and do its work throughout the night um without me having to put any product on top of my face so i've really been liking this toner i really like it. another good um product that i think i mentioned this my October favorites. I'm not sure. But I just got this um, Murad Acne Spot Treatment. And I think in my October favorites, I had talked about this Clinique one. Yeah, because I had mentioned the Clinique face wash. So I, I mentioned this um, spot treatment. But the reason I didn't like that one is, one, look at the size of this. This is so tiny. It's $20. And this was 22 but this one I think was like 18 or 22 and I'll leave it down the link down below but it has way more product and it doesn't so this one used to dry out my skin like completely just dried out and every time I try to put um makeup on top of it it just sit on it because it was dry skin because this is all pure salicylic acid and this one has only two percent salicylic acid which helps minimize the dryness which i really really like because like i said this was way too drying and i have oily skin and this was just way no like if i had one like right in the middle of my forehead and if i try to apply makeup it was just literally gonna sit on top of it and it was just gonna look bad and this one doesn't which i really like and i feel like it works faster too so if you're looking for a good um spot treatment definitely try out the smear this is the babes fave and um i don't know i think it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's twelve. It's twelve piece and it's like forty dollars. But honestly, they are the softest brushes. Like I own Morphe, but my brushes are so old. Like this is how old they are. But so I mean they're still soft, but they just like oh, there's actually another one here. But they just lose the softness over time. So when I got these, I was like, yeah but these have been my favorites so far this actually no i think there's like 14 in this set that's a missing one it'll be linked down below um but these have been a really good um set for me i've really been liking them. along with that the first palette i tried those was with this crown palette that i got in a boxy charm actually and this is how it looks. Super warm color. Super nice. Um, let me just swatch these two. Very real quick. Like, they're so cute. So nice. And I had tried them out with those brushes. And I made an eye look. And I, like, became obsessed. And I was like, why haven't I played with this palette? And I have so many palettes, that's why. And... <laughs> I just have so many palettes that sometimes I just like don't gravitate towards my older ones and was really into this palette when I tried my brushes out. So I have really been using this palette and there's so many looks you can build with this. Um, so I will definitely do a holiday look with just this palette. 
But this has been my favorite eyeshadow palette this month. Like, this is all I've been using. I don't have eyeshadow on my eyes today because I came from work and I didn't wear eye makeup. So this has been my favorite palette um, this month. I've really been loving it. And I feel like I could definitely make a holiday look for you guys with this palette to show you the different options and the different routes you can go using this. Um... So this next product I actually got when I went to get my facial, as, um, as I mentioned a little earlier in the video. I went to get a facial because my skin was kind of just like acting up and it was making me very like insecure. So I decided to get my very first facial, which I have my next appointment actually in like two weeks and I will take you guys with me on that. And I got this um, like hydrating, it's like supposed to be a moisturizer but in a spray form. And it's by GM Collins. And how it looks. It's just a spray. And she told me that I had dry skin, which is weird. Or she, Well, she said that at the time that day I had very dry skin. And she recommended me hydrating my skin a lot. And recommended this. Um, told her I moisturize, but not all the time. And so she recommended this uh, spray because it's just so much easier. And it's so, so lightweight that you don't feel like you're get it get greasy and i really have been liking it it makes my skin feel how can i describe it like refreshed kind of like with the um mario badescu does but just fragrance free and just so much cleaner yeah that's what i'm the word i'm looking for just cleaner and refreshed that's what it makes my skin feel and i think this retail for like I think I paid like $30 for it and it has 6.8 ounces and I really really like it so I will definitely be going back for a facial because I really have been liking what I love the experience and I love how it made my skin feel another favorite this month has been this combination of foundations which um I've been using this one this NYX Total Control Drops for like a year now and I really really like this first of all and then I picked this Becca ultimate coverage one um, in July and it turned out to be a little too yellow for me and it's actually very very thick I didn't really like how it looked on my skin after I applied it so I decided to maybe if I used a little bit it'd be okay but I decided maybe to mix it with any foundation that I had just to tone down the yellowness and I mixed it with this because these are like, it's not so, so full coverage. Because this is thick and full coverage, so I didn't want my face to be cakey. And this together is like amazing. Because this is very runny, because they're drops. And then this is very thick, it's like, just very thick. And... I just thought maybe they would be they would work well together and they did. I love the coverage that I get. It looks I think because of this being so watery and runny, it really tones down the thickness of this and it just gives a good smooth finish and that's my combination that I've been using. I isn't really my month's favorite, but together with this it makes a huge difference which I've really been enjoying and I'm like in the market for new foundations so if you have a foundation that you love please please let me know in the comments below because I feel like I just buy the same foundations and I just want to try different ones and really see what's out there whether it be high-end or a drugstore I'm willing to splurge but I mean I don't mind saving some money either but other than that I think So, I think that is all for this month's favorite. Um, not much going on. Uh, it is starting to get around the holiday season. So, I try not to spend so much money on myself. Um, and I'm trying to save up more. I want to um, pay off a lot of my credit cards. <laughs> That's my New Year's resolution. Is to pay off a lot of my credit cards. Um, but, they, these have been... They're very... They're not a lot of products, but they're the best products for me this month that have worked for me. If you guys do end up trying any of these products, please let me know. And um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys besides I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I am doing a giveaway. I did say this um, back when I first started my 
videos on my channel when I reach 100 subscribers and we're almost there. I revealed my first um, prize on my Facebook page, um, which is Lissette Gamino, which I'll have down below. And I will be announcing the second prize either tonight or tomorrow. But by the time you guys see this video, it'll probably already be announced on my Facebook page. But yeah, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. I do have an announcement. I have a huge announcement. I am going to be doing a Vlogmas this month, this upcoming month, this year. And um, I'm super excited. I am nervous because... Like Wednesdays I work all day and Fridays so there's not much for me to do there. So the way I'm gonna um, split up Vlogmas will be not every day but it'll be day 1 through 8. And then like 8 through 16. I don't know how to count. But so they'll be like that and then um, I'll have like extra clips in there and stuff. But definitely doing vlogmas and i will give you guys a sneak peek of my intro that will be for vlogmas this year other than that then i now i really have nothing else to say besides i'm hungry and i'm gonna go eat now so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Santa, tell me if you're